Ever wondered why a certain type of exercise stands out in the fight against high blood pressure? The answer lies in the realm of isometric exercises. According to a comprehensive review in 2023, which analyzed 270 studies involving nearly 16,000 participants, a regimen of isometric exercise was found to significantly reduce both systolic and diastolic blood pressure. The study found that isometric exercise brought about a larger decrease in blood pressure than other popular forms of exercise such as aerobic, resistance, and interval training. Isometric exercise, for those unfamiliar with the term, involves the flexing of muscles to hold a position rather than moving. A simple example is squeezing a tennis ball for 30 seconds. This constriction of the muscles around the blood vessels, coupled with the buildup of anaerobic metabolites, triggers a chain of events in the body that ultimately leads to a decrease in blood pressure. The body responds to the buildup of these metabolites by enhancing blood flow as soon as you stop the isometric activity. This causes stress along the blood vessel walls, which in turn triggers the release of nitric oxide, a compound that causes blood vessels to dilate, easing blood pressure. Interestingly, research indicates that this localized activity seems to have a whole body effect on blood pressure. Yet, it's important to note that studies have only looked at three specific exercises – leg extensions, hand grip squeeze, and wall squats. Among these, wall squats seem to be particularly effective. A 2022 study in the Journal of Hypertension found that middle-aged men with high normal blood pressure experienced significant decreases in both systolic and diastolic blood pressure after performing isometric wall squats thrice a week for a year. While the exact mechanism behind these chronic blood pressure changes remains unclear, it appears to be linked to potential changes in local vascular function, autonomic vascular function, and possibly structural vascular adaptations. In a nutshell, the body might be adapting to the workout by releasing more nitric oxide each time, causing a greater expansion of blood vessels. This is yet another fascinating example of how our bodies can adapt and respond to physical activity in ways that promote health and well-being.